Two-time F1 world champion Fernando Alonso is pumped to return to F1 next year with Renault rebrand Alpine. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our new home on unbeaten.com. There's no doubt that two-time Formula One world champion Fernando Alonso will shake up the grid, racing for Enstone rebrand Alpine next year, with the Spaniard's passion for the sport rejuvenated. And while he's far more of a team player, following his World Endurance Championship winning stint with Toyota, his sharp ambition and opinions remain, with the 39-year-old revealing his ultimate target in a recent chat promoting his new Amazon documentary entitled Fernando, where he also didn't pull any punches on the sport as it is now. My objective is to try to win it. In the current F1 format that we all know, only Mercedes and Hamilton are allowed to win. So in 2022, we will have a lot of teams with high hopes, like Renault Alpine, Fernando, Ferrari, Carlos, Verstappen, Red Bull, and many others. But until that pecking order reset can even take effect from 2022, Alonso has to get back up to speed in F1 for next year. And while Renault is still lobbying the FIA on getting the Spaniard into the car in Abu Dhabi for the end of year young drivers test, it's likely that the team could instead use one of its filming days for a more private session. The Spaniard though is already being worked into the system to prepare for next season which outgoing leader Daniel Ricciardo will have to get used to, with Alonso totally committed to his role. I guess it's going to be a couple of simulator days uh, here at the factory, uh, preparing next year and also helping some, somehow the, the weekends this year. Um, and then, you know, I guess I will come to a couple of races, just to follow the team on the track side and to understand the philosophy working on, on the weekend. Um, Abu Dhabi will be probably uh, a must. Forever a formidable competitor, Alonso's return to race for Enstone for the third time will be one of the biggest stories of 2021. And with memories of the past burning bright, 2006's R26 helping him to bring home a second straight title double for Renault. That commitment will roll on through the Alpine rebrand, where Alonso is expected to lead a French resurgence in F1. But should they need extra motivation in the meantime, they now have a hotline. Ricardo out, no problems at all. I, I will be um, available for the team for anything they need. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.